Hello and welcome to the half ass Homestead. My name is Angie and this is the sixth installment of the Three Rivers Pantry Challenge. In the first clip, Andy made me dinner. Um, it was marinated and smoked venison backstraps wrapped in bacon with asparagus, foil pack onions, carrots, and potatoes, and um, some jumbo shrimp. We also had vanilla ice cream with zucchini bread jam over top, which is, you know, I love my ice cream. Here I am working on hard boiling eggs. Um, if you need an easy way to hard boil eggs, uh, if you crack the end with a spoon, lightly, not like busting it open, but just tap it till you hear pop, and then throw them in your Instapot for the 555 method, they'll peel great. These are day old eggs, so farm fresh. You will never have an easier peeling egg. I converted my mom. She loves it. Um, so here I'm adding a little smoked paprika, uh, mustard, and then I had made some mayonnaise. Uh, so it's just homemade mayonnaise. I apparently didn't get footage of that, but it is what it is. It's really simple to make. Just mixing that up. Forgot my Worcestershire sauce, so I added that. And just slicing up some sandwich bread. Think we can make a jig for cutting evenly sized slices of bread? Because that would be convenient. Oh, I also forgot to tell you, sandwich bread is homemade too. Oh, I made that a while ago. I don't think I filmed a video on it. I made like a honey oat sandwich bread and I overcooked it, so... I just toast it. I am making Mama half ass Zucchini Casserole. It is very simple. All I do is take, um, I basically one to two gallon size bags of frozen zucchini when I'm doing it from frozen. And I'll add a cup of sour cream and a can of cream of mushroom soup and a can of cream of chicken soup. Mix that all together, and then I'll just take a couple tablespoons of butter, toss it with some stuffing mix, and then I'll put that over the top, bake it for a half hour. As far as the casserole goes, if I don't have like a whole lot of zucchini, because sometimes I don't like the beginning of the season, I'll use either cream of mushroom or cream of chicken, and it doesn't make a whole world of difference. Um, I like both soups, so, you know, it's an easy homestead meal, and if a tiny human is excited when you're going to make it, that's, that's clearly a win. Because this is probably like the most winning cast like meal that we have here. Except for Andy. He hates it. He's going to have to take the L sometimes. <laughs> here I am frying some bacon. I am making Andy uh, breakfast. Well, his lunch, but he eats that at like 7.30 in the morning. So I'm just um, scrambling up some eggs and frying up some bacon and just putting in a container. This is something he normally does in the evening, but I had a little extra time, so I'm being extra nice. And then uh, I'm going to give the bacon a slight taste test just to make sure it's safe to eat. Um, yeah. Okay, so pantry challenge update. I broke today. Um, so we're on day 31 and I, I'm going to preface this with, I don't have money to spend. I had a vet bill and I had some unfortunate things happen where I don't have any extra money and I won't for a couple of months. However, I went out, bought a three pound bag of Honeycrisp apples. Because I was going to eat everything in sight until I satiated my cravings. So one of my big cravings, like half the day, all I could think about was eating an apple. So obviously I'm missing something in my diet that I'm not getting that I'm craving these things so much. And an Asian salad. This is not something I buy all the time and I buy these rarely. These in the past have been like a 
I'm running short on time and I need something and it's a splurge item, but I have been craving this also. So I got both because I can't, I can't, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know why I'm craving them, but obviously I need to eat a three pound bag of apples. I mean, maybe I'll do better next month, but I don't know if I can't stop it. Like at least I'm craving something healthy rather than, you know, a pile of chocolate because I'm so here I am brining a chicken. I am using salt, sugar, brown sugar, soy sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, and brining um, one of our home rice chickens overnight. And what I'm going to do is throw it in the smoker the next day. Um, I did not record the finished product or anything like that. We had a dinner party and I chose to enjoy time with friends over filming for YouTube. I'm sorry guys. Um, but, you know, I mean, I had to live my life, too. <laughs> but everything turned out really good. Um, served this chicken on the side of garlic, lemon, parmesan, asparagus, and cheddar cauliflower with some baby potatoes as well. Um, spatchcocked and smoked the chicken. Everything turned out really super delicious. And while I spatchcocked this chicken, I am going to peace out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Um, Y'all have a good one.